Good morning, students. Today we are going to enjoy this poem, My Mother at Sixty Six, and the poet is Kamla Das. Students, have you ever thought what our parents expect from us? You will come up with different answers. like at this time your parents expect one thing from you and that is that you all study hard and in a way i would say that they do not expect anything from you but they want you to rise in life every expectation which they have it is for you only but just imagine what our parents expect from us in their old age aging is a natural process so this poem focuses on the problems of old age and the fear of loss and separation a brief about the poet kamla das she was born in malabar kerala and she is recognized as india's most literary poets she wrote under the name madhava kutti and her poems express the thoughts which are very personal and at the same time they have some universal quality about them now i'll read out this poem for you driving from my parents home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me those open mouth her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she thought away and looked but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting and the merry children spilling out of their homes but after the airport security check standing a few yards away I looked again at her wan pale face as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache my childhood's fear but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile let us look at this poem line wise driving from my parents home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me the poet is driving from her parents home to the cochin airport and her mother is beside her she is dozing her eyes are closed she is sleeping open mouthed her mouth is open her face looks pale like ash so weak and frail her mother looks that it gives us a feeling as if mother is like a corpse a dead body and the very thought gives the poet lot of pain so it is human tendency when we have some disturbing thoughts we try to think of some other thing in order to divert our minds so the poet also does the same 
She is trying to put that thought away and she looks out of the car. She finds outside the car young trees are sprinting. She sprinting means running. Actually the trees are not running but it appears as if the trees are running. It's a natural phenomena. And she also sees the merry children, happy children, merry, happy children. They're spilling out of their homes. They're just coming out of their homes in large numbers in order to play. And this gives the poet a very happy feeling. Here the poet has used contrast. Inside the car, there is old age. There is the fear of death. But outside the car, there is youth. There is energy. The poet's mind is diverted and the poet feels relaxed, happy. The car reaches the airport. The poet is busy with the security checks and after the work is over, she again gets a chance to look at her mother and this time when she sees her mother, she looks again at her, van pale, weak, pale face which reminds her of late winter's moon. Late winter's moon is lusterless, has lost all its shine and she feels again that old familiar ache, ache, pain. Familiar this pain had bothered her earlier also that one day she would lose her mother. But now seeing her mother's advancing age, this pain comes back to her again. And this is her childhood fear, fear of losing her mother and which she sees very near because of her mother's advancing age. She musters up courage and all she could say was, See you soon, Amma. It's a kind of reassurance that she is trying to give to her mother. Probably mother is also facing the same fear of not seeing her daughter again. So she tries to reassure her mother that nothing is going to happen to her and she would be there again and she puts up a brave front and smile and smile and smile. You see that this word smile has been repeated thrice. It is not a natural smile. The poet is trying to hide her fear. The poet is trying to reassure her mother and puts up a brave front by putting on a put on artificial smile. And the poem ends here. You see that the literary devices that are used in the poem are there is simile comparison. When poet compares her mother to a corpse and then again there is comparison when poet compares her mother to the late 
Winter's Moon. There is contrast in the poem. Contrast when the poet seeing her mother feels sad because inside the car there is sadness, there is fear of death, whereas outside the car there is youth, there is energy, there is vitality, there is happiness. And the poet tries to divert her sad thoughts by diverting her mind from sadness to happiness which she finds outside the car. Then there is repetition used in the end. Smile, smile, smile. You will notice one other thing in this poem is that the poem has not been divided into stanzas. There are no punctuation marks. The poem starts from one end and ends at the other end. It seems as if the poet is trying to put across one single thought and this thought is the fear of old age, the problems of old age, the fear of loss and separation. Students, hope you've understood this poem. And now you have already been provided with learning material, resource material related to this poem. Tomorrow we are going to work on the worksheet based on the poem. Thank you.